everyone. We are back. We're playing Velvet Reviews today. And uh, so this is what they came out, the dye, the color. Um, I showed you, I think I showed you all of them together, but I put these together with a stainless steel screw. All I did was drill like a small hole and then I put, um, you know, a screw in there to attach that uh, for the bird, for Julie. All right, so that's kind of uh, what's up. So these are how I'm going to connect these in the tank, to sh uh, the, the tank. How I'm going to connect these inside his cage is how I'm going to show you. So I'm using these hanger bolts, they're called. Uh, they call these dowel bolts, hanger bolts, different kind of uh, names there are. Uh, but this is what they look like. And these are, you could probably get different ones, better, you know, ones that are not better, but just suited for your application. See how this has this long neck? So you might have to go in a little bit deeper uh, because of this long neck just to make sure, you know, when you have the washers on that it, it works properly. But I got quarter inch because uh, this is a very, this is only um, three quarter inch, seven eighth or something like that size. So one quarter inch, uh, as you see, is pretty big and takes up a decent amount of uh, surface area on here. So when that goes in, it's gonna take up that area. So it's gonna be good. Uh, this is gonna be perfect for the size to the weight ratio is just what I think. The bigger one that I did get, uh, we're gonna use the uh, bigger ones that I got, obviously. So how I put these in are, there's a couple of ways you can do this. See, I already drilled my hole. Uh, you could do this two ways. You could do it this way. I have the vice grip, which is very easy to use. I got the vice grip, so you can uh, lock it in there very easily. This way you don't got to like try to hold it, you know, and then you should be able to get deep enough. Now, make sure that you drill your hole straight. Otherwise, this is going to come out lopsided. And if it comes out really lopsided, you tighten this, this can just crack and then it's garbage. So if when you're putting it in, this is just pine. So, you know, what I mean, you can kind of direct it and make sure it goes in the middle. If you were doing oak or redwood or some kind of really hard wood, then you wouldn't be able to do that with your hand because the wood's just too hard. But this one is uh, is you know very easy. See how I'm putting this in. I have a, I have a bad back. I'm not I'm I'm you know I've been on the weaker side the last couple of years uh, you know with my body uh, in general. Um, so this is not even that hard you know for me to do. It's probably harder if you go with the bigger size than quarter. Then I mean I'd probably I don't know. I really don't know if it's you know whatever. But so there we go. Now we can put the washer on. Uh, like that and then it'll be perfectly fine and then we're good to go um, I, try not do not press on the threads like I did I made a little indentation on the top thread it's still gonna work because the washer is gonna go there but if you damage you know like three or four of these threads then this you just did all this work for no reason and you might got to get a new one and put it in uh, so you don't want to make sure you don't grip onto this part onto the threads because uh, once you crush you know probably more than one of these on this because it's just so small it's gonna give you a problem all right so the other way you could do it uh is just use two uh two screw uh, two bolts two nuts so these are quarter inch nuts so yeah you take the nuts you put them on here tighten it a, a sm tighten it a small amount you don't need to do nothing crazy all right so the uh the other way uh like i said you could put this in there as you uh we have the nuts on here. These are quarter inch nuts, tighten them up together. You can use this for a lot of different applications, do the same kind of thing. That's how they install, you know, certain hardwares in the kitchen countertops and you know, whatever. Um, so you can use a nut driver, anything like that. I only got this, but. All right, so uh, you saw how simple and easy that was to put that in, and now we're gonna pop this on Julie's cage so we can see kind of what they look like. But um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'll leave. Uh, I usually leave a link in the bottom um, in, in the description for stuff that I use. So I probably will use a link for this and the die or whatever. Obviously not for the wood. So you guys can order, you know, whatever size that you want to make it work for you. Hello everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. I'm gonna pop in the pine uh, that we did dye for Julie. We're gonna pop this in on top so you can see he already has this that you can go on. But he can't really get up there because he's little. So, uh, and he can't fly because obviously he has a wing clip. So I'm gonna put like stuff up here like this for him and we're gonna see if he's gonna uh, use it or you know see what's gonna go on there, right? So let's put the first one in over here. We'll put, because it's the lowest one, so we'll put it close to here.
All right, so that's about it for Glenn Velvet reviews on that uh, and how I set it up and how it looks and how I, what I used to tighten it in for Julie to, you know, be able to explore up on the cage and get some exercise, have some fun and help or whatever. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye. And if you could do me a favor and the channel a favor to support the channel, uh, I have affiliate links below to purchase anything, uh, mostly on Amazon or I, if anything else I have down there, I don't know. Um, which helps support, obviously, the channel for me to get new stuff, test new stuff, or, you know, do whatever, so you guys can see what's up. All right, enjoy. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.